Hello, in this video, I will guide you how to install MySQL database version 8.0 on Windows 10 operating system for development purpose. In details, I will show you how to download MySQL installer for Windows 10 and then install MySQL community server, which is a free version of MySQL database, and also install MySQL Workbench, a visual tool for managing MySQL databases. And after setup, I will show you how to run the MySQL command line clan and MySQL Workbench programs to connect to a local instance of MySQL database server. Firstly, you need to download the installer program for MySQL database. So go to the URL mysql.org, which is the official homepage of the MySQL database. And click MySQL downloads. And click MySQL community server. And you can see it detects as our operating system by default. Uh, I'm using a uh, Microsoft Windows. And to download the installer program for Windows 10 operating system, click go to download paste button here. And you can see there are two installers. The first one is uh, for the web and the second one is for uh, desktop. So click the download uh, button for the second one. No thanks, just start my download. And you can see it is downloading uh, the installer program for MySQL database. Okay, the download come list and it is strongly recommended to verify the integrity of the downloaded file. Yeah, click back in the browser here and uh, you can see the MD5 uh, checksum code for the installer here. So you need to open a new uh, a new uh, command prompt window. Show in folder and change the current directory in the command window to the directory uh, where the downloaded file is here. Downloads and type this uh, command set ut dash hash file and then the downloaded file name and then mb5 and you can see this is the uh, result mb5 value has of the installer program and you need to compare this value against the value published on MySQL website here. Okay, it is correct. Uh, that means we are safely uh, installing uh, this uh, program. So uh, click on the downloaded file to launch the MySQL installer program. And here comes the MySQL installer. Uh, we need to choose the setup type and the default setup type is uh, developer default here. It will install MySQL server, MySQL shell, uh, MySQL router, MySQL workbench, MySQL for Visual Studio, MySQL connectors. Uh, for Java development, uh, uh, we don't need to install MySQL for Visual Studio connectors also is not uh, required so choose custom setup type and click next and here I choose my SQL server to be installed and uh, my SQL workbench to be installed just uh, these two applications and click next and you see my SQL server on Windows, uh, we require Microsoft Visual C++ runtime to be installed. So click Execute. And it will download and install Microsoft Visual C++ runtime install. Close. And click Next. And we are ready to install MySQL Server and MySQL Workbench.
ICQ. Done installing MySQL Server. Done installing MySQL Workbench. And click Next uh, to configure MySQL Server. Next. And for development purpose, uh, we choose the default config type is for development computer. Connectivity is uh, over TCP IP default port number 3306. So click Next. And for the authentication method, uh, I choose to use the legacy authentication method. Next. And specify the uh, root password uh, you should uh, specify a stronger password and click uh, next and it will configure a MySQL database server to be uh, running as a uh, Windows service and this is a Windows service name you can use the default MySQL 8 or use uh, another name and click next and execute to apply the configuration you see it is initializing the database that uh, may take a long time okay done the configuration and click uh, finish and we are done installing and uh, configuring MySQL database server next and you see it will start MySQL workbench after step so click finish and you see here comes the MySQL workbench uh, visual tool uh, for managing uh, MySQL databases And to verify that a MySQL database server is up and uh, running or not, uh, you need to open the uh, services so you can open Task Manager and uh, click the tab Services here and uh, look for the service name uh, MySQL 80. MySQL 80 here, and you can see its status is running. And from this uh, services view, you can manage. And right click you can stop restart and uh, start uh, open the services uh, detail here to manage the mysql uh, database services on uh, windows yeah you see you can see the properties here and you can see the path to the executable program of mysql database server and the path to the configuration file here Okay, that means my SQL database server is up and running as the Windows service. Now in my SQL workbench, you can see the default connection for local instance of my SQL database server here. So click on this default connection and specify the uh, password of the root user. Okay, you see it has connected to a MySQL database here, and you can see the schema view here that uh, lists the default uh, databases. Administration, you can see server status here. Okay. So uh, you can use this MySQL Workbench uh, for creating a new database schema and then uh, from a schema you can uh, create new table and execute SQL statement. Uh, almost everything you can do to manage uh, databases on a MySQL uh, database server. 
the installation of MySQL database server also comes uh, with a command line program called MySQL command line clan which you can see from the start menu here click MySQL 8.0 command line clan here and uh, you need to type the password for the root user and you can see it has connected to the server you can see the server version 8.0.22 MySQL community server here and you can type some comments here status to see the status of the connection here uh, show databases to list uh, all uh, databases on the server here and uh, instead of using the visual to my SQL workbench you can also use this command line tool to connect and manage the my SQL databases that's it so that I have shared with you how to download and install MySQL database community server including MySQL Workbench on Windows 10 operating system. I hope you will find this video helpful. Please subscribe to my channel, like, comment and share this video. Thanks for watching.